ladies and gentlemen, this is what happens when you're driving down the road and there's a tree down. You grab your machete and you get that bitch out of the way. this out crocodile wow damn there have been some trees down my man came out here with the heavy duties check this out asking me, Chens, is Costa Rica dangerous? Is Costa Rica dangerous, Chens? Well, to be truthful, it kinda is. And here's why. What is up, people? It is your boy, Chens Alone. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. This is where I share my experiences of my life in Costa Rica for the last five years. A lot of people have been asking me, is Costa Rica dangerous? Is it a dangerous place? And honestly, it's a kind of dangerous place and not for the reasons that you would think. Most people think robbery, thievery, carjackings. Although that stuff goes on here, it happens everywhere in the world. It's not so prevalent here as it would be in other Central American countries or South America even. Even in New Jersey, I feel like it's more it's more dangerous there than it is in Costa Rica. But here we have crocodiles, we have landslides, we have flooded roads, we have dangerous storms. I mean, to, the list goes on, people. I mean, one of my least favorite things in Costa Rica is driving, and I do it every day. It is so dangerous, man. It is so dangerous. The roads at night are so terrible. Uh, if you, even if you have great lights, you have to deal with a bunch of people that don't have great lights. So you're driving down the road and you know they might cause the accident or you're 
you know, you go around a turn and somebody else is coming around a turn and hits you and you go off the side of the road and now you shoot off the side of the mountain. I mean, literally, it, I know it sounds crazy, but that shit happens, man. I've seen it happen. Not personally, but I mean, I've seen, I've seen the cars in the ditches plenty of times. It is a dangerous country, man. Just yesterday, we had one of the biggest storms I've seen in the longest time. I go online and I see all of Dominical is flooded underwater. Like the whole main road is underwater, like almost unpassable. Uh, in Capos, all the, all the houses in Capos were underwater. I mean, saw a tracker with the water almost up to the door, man. I mean, it is not a very safe country when it comes to natural things. I mean, and again, you know, you guys just saw the crocodile earlier. Now, what are the chances that you're going to get eaten by a crocodile? Probably pretty slim, but you go swimming in this river and guess what? Your chances increase a little bit, you know? You guys know, if you guys have been watching, you guys know that I lost one of my dogs to the crocodiles. So, man, it is not like, you know, people are like, oh, you know, Costa Rica is so safe. It's safe, you know, it's safe as far as like, you're not going to walk down the road and get, you know, somebody's not going to stick you up and steal your camera. Maybe, I mean, it's happened for sure, but uh, it's not really something you have to worry about all the time, but something you definitely do need to worry about all the time, especially right now in the rainy season, is like this, man. See this water here? I mean, this was what Dominical Street looked like. Imagine that was the road. And it happens all the time. It happens all the time. I shouldn't actually walk in that because I don't know what's in there. What's up, good girl? What's up, crazy? So yes, people always ask me, is Costa Rica dangerous? And well, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to scare anybody, but if you're going to come here, be aware. The roads at night are horrible. Don't drive at night. Don't drive in the rain. Don't drive, period. <laughs> I mean, really, I mean, I, you know, that's a little stretch, but it is a little wild, man. I, one of my least favorite things here is driving, I'm telling you. There are constantly, constantly, constantly times where I'm driving down the road and there's a mudslide and it's just all across the whole street and now imagine you're driving at night and you didn't see that mudslide and you're doing 60 and you're just cruising along and all of a sudden whoom you're in four foot of water guy come that's what happens here man it really does happen a lot people go to cross the rivers you know and they get stuck and then their car gets flipped over stuff like that happens in costa rica just be weary it's not you know yeah it's a great country it's safe you can walk around not have to worry about getting robbed you can kind of you know i wouldn't leave your purse on the bar and walk away but you probably could you know as long as you know the bartenders and you you, you feel you know you've been there a while you know the area you could probably do get away with that i leave my camera and phone on the table all the time and go to the bathroom nothing ever happens i trust the i trust the area i know the area I know the people, you know, obviously if I was in an area I didn't know, it'd be a little more sketchy. I probably wouldn't do that, but it's not like you can't just live your life here. You don't have to worry about everywhere you go, getting robbed and getting, you know, having to worry about your car getting stolen and, you know, and that does happen. That stuff happens even more often now than it ever has because of all the inflation and COVID and everything else. People are hungry, but that's not why Costa Rica is dangerous, man. Costa Rica is dangerous for the natural disasters that happen here all the time. There are bridges that go out. There are roads that go out. There are trees that fall down. Now imagine you're driving down the street and one of those trees fall down on your car. You're dead, bro. Ain't, you, ain't you ain't living through that. So just be careful, people. Just be careful. I am going to enjoy the rest of this day here if you guys want to enjoy this day with me. I just wanted to give you a jewel of information. I'm gonna do a little bit of fishing. I don't really know what else is going on, but it is hot, I am sweating, and it feels freaking good. The sun has not been out in days, and now we are finally getting that nice sunny day that we've been waiting for. So I am enjoying it today. This water is murky and nasty, and you guys saw that crocodile, so. You know what I'm saying, people. You know what I'm saying. Just be safe. Hey, we got ourselves a little snack. 
Dapper Dapper, eh? That's what's up. Oh, got him good, too. I am burnt up. My shoulders are red now, man. Um, I am heading out. I think we're gonna head out to, towards Dominical and see what these roads are looking like, man, because those roads were like completely washed out. Let's see if our crocodile guy's still here. Man, imagine you're walking down this road, right? And mom's got her babies. And she's sitting back here in the woods. There might be a little stream or something back there. And you come too close. Uh-uh. You don't want to see an angry croc, mom. Anyway, let's go see what's going on in the Calle.
freaking crazy. We haven't even hit the Minical yet. Oh, I just saw somebody flashing their lights. Uh, yep, we got something going on. Oh my lord. Again, the reason why I'm doing this is to tell you guys, like, okay, if it's raining in the daytime, you might see all this, but if it's at nighttime, man, you're not gonna see any of this, and it's gonna show up to you in seconds, and you're gonna have a split second fin to set figure it out. And with the way this mud is right now, in dry day, like bright, broad daylight, I could not imagine what this must have been like last night. There must have been so many people getting into accidents, maybe some dead. I mean. I don't know, I don't see any wrecks or anything, but it's kind of impossible for me to think that nothing happened yesterday. Please be careful, people, please. Drive safely and do not drive at night in the rain, especially. water is still flowing now which it hasn't rained in I don't know I think it stopped raining at some time around 1 o'clock in the morning so wow I mean it's what time 1 o'clock in the afternoon 1 o'clock in the afternoon so let's say it stopped raining at 1 and now it's 1 in the afternoon that's 12 hours as a rain and the water is still flowing into the street we had a hell of a storm last night and it's only July this is what's crazy October we're supposed to get this shit. Not in July, man. This is supposed to be our dry season. This is supposed to be like our midsummer, our little our they call it the the veranito. It's the the little summer that we have in July where everything dries up and then we go back to the rain in August, September, October and then it goes back to summer in November, December. But not today. Not this year, not this year. talk to somebody about what happened yesterday. Get it, bro. Get it, bro. Get it. Much 
room to park nowhere. I don't know why that song stuck in my head. Whoa. Okay, let's not go down the ditch. Bro, let me give it a rip. Yeah, dude. Since everybody else is ripping. <laughs> thank you, bro. This looks sweet. Yeah, man. Oh, it's a little uh, the surf skate, right? The surf skate, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got one of these. Ooh, it's a little, a little looser than mine. All right. I got it. I got it. Give me a second. Ooh. Kite, 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 kite. Jesus. Lo siento, bro. My dog's a fucking nut. Ooh. Uh, the what do you call that fucking thing? I don't even know it. Harbor. Harbor, yeah, 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 dude. Cool little vibes out here, man. Cool little vibes out here. I love Costa Rica. I love Dominical. One of my favorite spots, Dominical. Always, always. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, hello. How are you? Can I have a Pilsen, por favor? Can you give me some info of what happened yesterday? What happened in the roads? What's going on? All the roads are like flooded. You saw it? Oh, uh, uh, you weren't here? Oh, okay. So you don't have any idea. Well, that bartender wasn't feeling good. She wasn't feeling it. She didn't work yesterday. She didn't really want to answer any questions. So we're gonna go somewhere else. Let's see what see what really happened yesterday. Come on. Come on. Let's head into the heart of Dominical. my boy. What up, bro? Have a nice race and you know. Not for me today, brother. All right, all right. Gracias. All right. I appreciate you. Gracias, my man. All right, you too. Good guy, that guy. Always out here selling that Jamaican rice and beans. Jamaica. That Caribbean food, baby. And for all the people that want to know the surf report in Costa Rica, you really want to know? Here it is. It is shit everywhere. Shit, shit, shit. There's no reason to be out there. Although it looks like there's somebody way out there. Nope, that's a tree. Nothing but trees out there. So if you think that the surf is going off and I'm just not using the opportunity to go surfing, you're out of your mind. 
the surf sucks. Tortilla flats. Let's see what's up. You too famous, this guy. I'm not. He is now. He is now. <laughs> They're gonna build the four for four. Thank you, sir. Bro, what happened yesterday? A lot of rain. What happened in the, ro the road? The road was. The only roads are fucked. Gone, right? Crazy. My, I guess it's like a small hurricane. Like small that. hurricane? Yeah. Uh, that's crazy, man. I drove through and it was just like everything was just flooded. I saw pictures of yesterday. Yeah. You guys had uh, water here? A lot of water? Yeah. Because we are very, very, very front in the bit. All the, the wind coming in. That's what I figured. All the water comes from the road, comes yeah. down in Dominical. Yeah. It was flooded or no? Yeah. You saw uh, Capos? Capos was Capo like was, yeah. underwater. Was yeah. Under, Holy shit, dude. It wasn't like that here. No, no, no. no, no, no. Yeah. That's what happens, people. Costa Rica's not dangerous. You ain't gonna get robbed, but dangerous you might get f***ing washed away in a storm, baby. <laughs> Come to me, Pete. Come to me, Pete. What would you call the most dangerous thing in Costa Rica? Ants. Ants. I like dangerous. Ants. I like I'm talking about ants are like a pain in the ass. Dangerous. Dangerous. The danger, most dangerous I thing. I don't think there is Just think. Okay. Think about yesterday. Think about yes, what sir. we've been dealing with the last couple days with all this bullshit. Um. Look. The roads. The roads. <laughs> That's what it was. The roads. The roads. Dang, I'm looking at an animal, man. I'm no. Thinking like there ain't none. No, but think about think yeah, about the all roads. the bullshit that we deal with. Motorbikes. The lorries. Yeah, they don't stop. 
the landslides, Ooh. the flooding. Ooh. I mean, all the things that we've been dealing with the last couple. Have you Shit. seen? Did you see Dominica yesterday? Did you see that? I saw that. Uh, did you see Dominica no. yesterday? You didn't see Dominica. No. Did you see Bay Shaman? No. No. They're underwater. Yeah. Dominica, the whole main road, underwater. The whole shit is all flooded. Everything's fucked up. I've got some good news. Tell me. We fixed all ours. All our water goes in the drain. Hey! Not in the house anymore. Well, at least they don't have to worry about that. Hell yeah. <laughs> but you do. Sorry, yeah. people. <laughs> yeah. Get good drainage system. <laughs> the roads are fucked here. Man. No, guys. It's all about, it's all about the storms. Yeah, sure. Be safe. Don't do anything Pete yeah, wouldn't do. Drive safely. Yeah, like Pete would. Yeah, but I've got a fucking choice car, don't go fast. <laughs>